select a clump of deer hair, trim it off, and remove any light fluffy material which might be adhering to its butt ends. Lay it on top of the hook, take one wrap of the tying thread and pull down firmly, which should result in the hair flaring like this. Take another wrap and pull down even more firmly to make the hair spin slightly around the hook shank. Take a third wrap and pull as tightly as you dare without breaking the tying thread. Take the tying thread forward Cut another bunch of hair and lay it on top of the hook tightly against the hair you have already spun on. Repeat the process by taking a turn of the tying thread and pull down firmly to spread it. Take a second wrap and pull down more firmly and spin the hair slightly. The third wrap is pulled down firmest of all to ensure the deer hair is spun totally around the shank. In order to make a tight and highly buoyant body, we now push the two clumps of spun hair tightly together. The deer hair should now be entirely around the shank of the hook, like this. It looks extremely untidy, but don't be discouraged. Take the tying thread forward, wrap two or three turns, and secure it with several half hitches. and clip it off. At this moment, the spun hair should extend only slightly forward of the middle point of the shank's length. Remove this ungodly mess from the vise, and with the sharpest and finest of your needle nose scissors, you'll now proceed to give it a haircut. Start on the underside of the fly, and trim the hair flat towards the tail. Next, trim the top and sides of the fly, tapering it as you approach the tail of the fly. Continue to trim and taper and trim and taper until you have a nicely proportioned clipped deer hair body. Replace the fly in your vise and reattach the tying thread. And secure with a half hitch. Select and match two grizzly hackle tips. Clip them off. Tie them in halfway between the clipped body and the eye of the hook. Making figure of eight turns around them, secure them as divided upright wings. Select one brown and one grizzly neck hackle and spread the fibers with your fingers. Wind the tying thread back to the deer hair body. 
tie in the two hackles between the wings close to the deer hair and take the tying thread forward in front of the wings of the fly. Grasp the two hackles with your hackle pliers. With several turns, wrap the hackles first behind and then under and ahead of the wings. Take a couple of turns with the tying thread. Tie it off. Clip off the excess and secure with a half hitch. Whip finish as before. and clip off excess and apply a drop of head cement. Your finished fly should now look something like this. The original irresistible was first devised and tied in Great Britain. However, since its arrival in North America, like many other immigrants, it has undergone a number of changes and improvements. We most sincerely hope that you have enjoyed this introduction to the arts of fly tying. It is our further hope that you will continue to extend and develop your skills. The ever-growing enthusiasm for fly fishing in all parts of North America reflects a growing concern for the fish stocks on which we depend and a realization that they will not survive continual abuse. Fly fishing permits the best opportunity of releasing fish unharmed, which is a valuable part of the preservation of our resource. We support the popular slogan which asks, limit your kill, don't kill your limit.